Hey guys, got a cool lesson for you today on movement. We're gonna talk about different ways to move, different ways to travel, different ways to move while standing still. It's gonna be a great lesson. First thing we're gonna talk about is non-locomotor. Body movements that do not incorporate travel. You've seen the signs in the gym, uh, non-locomotor sign. Uh, basically what we're saying is going to be standing still. I'm going to stand on this spot right here and I'm going to show you some different movements you can do without moving your feet. All right, uh, the first one, we've got a push. Stand on your spot. You could push against something. I could push against the board here. You know, I'm not moving my feet. I'm keeping my feet still. Also, uh, you could pull something. Like in tug of war, a lot of times we'll be doing tug of war. I'm keeping my feet on the box. Remember the box we use? And I'm pulling, I'm using different methods, but I'm keeping my feet still because if my feet come off, I lose the game. Uh, twist, twisting your body, you know. That could be shoulder shrugs, that could be side to side, it could be a lot of things. Uh, turning, you can turn, turn to your left, turn to your right. Uh, swinging, you know, our wing stretchers, arm stretches, uh, sway, swaying back and forth. Ms. Markham likes to do this. She's always singing and dancing in here. Uh, stretch, you know, stretch as high as you can, stretch as low as you can, stretch out side to side. Uh, bend, Mr. Caleb, would you show us a couple bends here? He's gonna bend down, he's gonna hold there, he's bent, he's not moving his feet. So as you can see, thank you, Mr. Kevin, you can see non-locomotor skills. Push, pull, twist, turn, swing, sway, stretch, and bend. That is a total of eight. We're incorporating a little bit of math. Can you get the math over here, Mr. Martin? Got even math in that lesson. So we got eight different things that are non-locomotor. Remember, you're keeping your feet still, moving your body, all right? Next thing we're gonna talk about, this is my favorite, this is what we do the most of, locomotor. Movements where the body travels from one location to another. We always talk about this, because I'll say, how did you get to the gymnasium? How did you get to class? And you think about that, you've left your room, and I see everybody, they're always thinking, and somebody will raise their hand and say, we walked. And let's see if walk is one of our locomotor skills. Boom, walk. So. Just a normal walk. That's, a, that's one of our locomotor skills. We walk to and from class. If you ask to go to the restroom, how are you gonna get to the restroom? We walk. Uh, also, skip. Uh, Miss Markham is a professional skipper. Miss Markham, could you show us some skipping, please? No, it's not gonna be able to sit very good. Mr. Kelly, could you move the screen back a little bit? Of course. Thank you, Mr. Mark, you never have to see your back. This is a skip we're working on right now. A jump hop, basically. Jump hop, all right, thank you. While I've got you over here, Ms. Markham, uh, would you show us a gallop? Now in a gallop, of course, I know what you're thinking, horses, yes, horses. Keeping that same foot in front for at least three or four seconds, and then you can switch, okay? So it's like, it's also a jump hop, but keep that same foot in front. Let's see if she can do it. Awesome. She did three or four there. Now she can switch up if she would like. That's a gallop. She's moved from one place to another. All right, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna call in Mr. Cody for this. I know he also does track, so he's gonna show us the next two I like to talk about, the jump and the leap, okay? And when he's just doing a jump, he's just doing a casual jump. He's probably just gonna jump maybe a block or two. Yeah, see, he didn't jump. That's pretty far for me, but for him it's not because I've seen him jump. So now we're gonna switch it up. That's your jump. We're gonna do a leap. He's gonna go as far as he can. He's gonna actually sway. He's gonna sway and swing his arms, keeping his feet still for a non-locomotor. So he's starting out, look, see he's swinging. He's getting ready to leap for a locomotor skip. Let's see. Wow, that was awesome. Okay, so we've talked about the jump, the leap, the skip, the gallop, the walk, uh, the hop. That's another one, the hop. Now. I think I'm gonna to try to get uh, Miss Campbell. She's gonna do a hop for us here in a minute. We'll incorporate her into that. But she's not here just at this second. We'll get her in a second. Mr. Cave, you show us a hop. Okay, 
Okay, he's hopping on one foot there. That's awesome. Can you hop on two foot? Or what about two? I mean, that's awesome. Now, this is one of my favorites, the slide. Now, when I say this a lot, kids say, oh, I love the slide. No, we're not going to mess up those brand new blue jeans or those brand new sweatpants you've got on or whatever kind of pants. We're just sliding our feet, so we're just going to slide. Can you see that pretty good, Miss Markham? Uh, yes. So we're sliding. We're going forward and back, side to side. We can zigzag. We can do a lot of different ways to slide. That's, like I said, one of my favorites. And I know this is your favorite. And this is Mr. K's favorite by far, the run. Hit it. Wow. You can't even get him on screen, he's so fast. Woo! That reminds me of my favorite superhero, the Flash. <laughs> he's awesome. And there's one on here, there's one that's not up here that's my favorite, and you'll see it. Probably my most favorite. It's called the creep. When I'm creeping, I'm trying to be super quiet. And I'm trying to be really, really low to the ground. You can't hear me. That's the creep. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Cousin. So those are our locomotor skills, which that's what we'll be starting back. When we start back school, our first few times in the gym, probably the first few weeks, we're going to be working on all kinds of movements, different ways you can move around and get excited for physical education class here at ACPC. Oh, this is one of my favorite parts, the challenge. This is your challenge. Just move, that's the motto here, ACPC. We talk about it all the time, just move. Find ways to get moving at least three days this week. All right, so now we're gonna be playing a game. And the game consists of locomotor and non-locomotor movements. What you're gonna do is decide what we're doing and what it is. So, what movement are we doing and is it locomotor or non-locomotor? All right, we're gonna do our first movement here. So we're gonna be guessing non-locomotor or locomotor. I'm gonna get out of the way, I'm gonna give Miss Markham about 10 seconds and then we'll come back in. I'm gonna try to guess what movement and what you're doing, okay? Okay. All right, let's go. Hmm. Okay, I think I know. Is it non-locomotor? Yes. And you are swinging. Good job. All right, that's the first one. So it should have been non-locomotor swinging. My turn. Okay, you ready for the second one? Here we go. here. Hopping? Yes. And since you were moving, uh, locomotor. Got it. Yes. Great job, Caleb. Yes. All right, let's see here. That was number two. Here's the next one. You were bending at the hip. You were bending. You got it. All right, what's Mr. Myers doing? If you guessed he was walking, that is correct. What's the other answer? He was moving his feet, so that was locomotor. I know what it was. That is locomotor, because you're moving your feet and you are skipping. Great job. How will you get moving this week? Here are some examples. Hi kids. Hi, Miss Campbell here at school still, walking in the parking lot. My moving goal for this next week is to get in 10,000 steps a day. 
every single day. My goal this week to get physical activity is to play pickleball. Here it comes. Sam, are you there? Sam? Hey guys, this week I'm also gonna try and get a little movement in with my kids. And we're gonna try Just Dance with the big screen. Come on, Elena. Here we go. I would stop moving, I could stop moving, then, 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 Look out. you this week to go outside and take a 10 minute walk just you and your family if you have pets put them on a leash and take them with you get out and see what you can see in your neighborhood get out and have a good time with your family and enjoy yourself it's supposed to be beautiful this week hey what's going on it's caleb watson here uh just gonna be going on my uh, going on my run. Um, this is what I would wear if I was going on a run. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go run probably about six miles, like uh, we learned in that lesson the other day. Um, 5,280 feet is a mile, and that's 2,000 steps. But uh, yeah, so see y'all later. All right, guys, now you have your challenge or your homework. This is easy, though. Decide how you will get moving for at least three days this week. We would love for you to leave us a comment to share your goals with us. Have a great week.